everyone welcome back to the channel today I have some tags that I've been making and I wanted to pop on and share those with you so they're gonna be Christmas themed because I've been trying to get some Christmas projects done recently sorry guys I've got some glue on my table as you can see it is a mess at the moment I really need to clean my table up it's just got glue and everything all over it but anyway um. Yeah, I wanted to pop on and share some gift tags that I've been making um, recently. I'm trying to build up my stash so I've got a load ready for when I start wrapping up gifts um, for family and friends. So the first lot of um, tags I made was using this um, paper collection. It's from the Hobbycraft. I've used this, um, you get these in different colours. I've used the green, gold, and mm, have I used the silver? No, I think it was just green and gold. I'm trying to look through. Just green and gold on these tags. Um, I did find that with this um, die I've used, I had to run it a couple of times through my machine this is 180 gsm you get 20 sheets in there and they did have this on offer and hobby craft a while ago um yeah i had to run it a couple of times with some dies but then ones that i've bought from amazon i had to run it about three or four i just found that they didn't they cut through normal cardstock um but the glittered one they just really struggled with um so it's obviously something to just be aware of um so yeah so use that cardstock then use this stamp this stamp i purchased from the range a couple of years ago um yeah so it says do not open until the 25th of december i just thought that was really nice um nice sort of big size to put on um a tag so that's the stamp i used um, these are the tags the die I used was from the works and it's this one it comes as a set so you get this um, outer piece which has um, it makes like a bauble so you've got the top piece there and then it came with this um, piece which is like holly and then you've got a snowflake and stuff I didn't use this this one I only use this outer piece and then in my um, stash I have some other just like a set of um, circle dies like sort of um, like a stack of circle dies different different sizes so I've used those to layer on top of this so that's that one I can't remember what this die was called um, but yeah it was definitely from from the works um, so um, the next ones are these that I put together um, so these are I think came out really really cute I'm really pleased with these ones so the actual tags I picked up again I think from the range um, one I like after Christmas in the sale um, I picked up a bag of those um, the actual um, reindeer is a die and I picked that up again I think this is from the range this is an X cut die and that's what it looks like it does come with um, like a bauble which you can hang like the die to do baubles on these antlers but I didn't use that on this project um, but yeah so I've left obviously the back plane and then I use the um, glitter cardstock from Hobbycraft to layer it's got like two layers it's what the die comes with if I just take out the die I can show you all the different pieces it comes with hold on guys let's take this out yeah, so that's all of it. So it comes with, this is the head. This is the outer part of the antlers. That's the layering piece. Um, this is the um, ears, the layering piece of the ears. And then 
um, like the mouth part. This is the glasses. This is the bauble. Um, and this is, I'm trying to think where the, oh, so the little part there goes on the nose. This is the scarf. And I have got the nose somewhere. I must have put it, put it somewhere. I've not got the nose to hand. But yeah, so these are all the different different parts to it. Who's that? Oh, and these are, let's see, it comes with really tiny, hold on, I'll just get that out as well. These are the, comes with little eyes as well, but obviously I didn't use the eyes, I used googly eyes. Um, like I said, it comes with a lot of pieces, so try and keep it together. Um, yeah, so I just cut out, um, like I said, the antlers in glittery cardstock, the um, head, ear piece, and the sort of um, mouth and that. I used some foam. Again, I picked this up from the range and you get a variety of different colours I couldn't tell you the thickness because it's got no label on it I've had this for well, quite a few years now about four four years and I had it in different loads of different different colours um, I tend to use this when I want to um, pop something up on a card and stuff like to layer it or shakers I tend to use this as well so yeah that's that the papers um, behind it is just white glittered cardstock I layered it on with these sentiments I've shared these before I picked these up from Hobbycraft I think it just says Merry Christmas and I've got these in white as well with gold on them um so yeah I think they turned out really really cute and the googly eyes um I think they were from Wilco's I kind of keep them in with my Halloween bits but I do need to because I'm starting to put all my Halloween, um, I kind of keep them in here for Halloween, but um, I do need to move them just in case I want to use them for some Christmassy projects and things. But yeah, you can pick these googly eyes. I think even Poundland do some googly eyes and different, um, come in a variety of different um, sizes and things. So I just keep them in there with me some of my Halloween sequins. So that's that. I'm just going to move those to one side. Um, that's that die. So that's those tags. Just put those there. And then the last set of tags, I used this die, oh, which again was from the works. It just literally it was just those two uh like little gloves mittens so then we got that and then this one i picked up from um amazon so it says um on there can't see it that way but it says warm hugs um that's what it looks like and then you have the outer piece of it so you can kind of layer it up that's like the sort of backing backing piece so they're the dies i used i will everything i have used i will try and find on the websites if they have a website um might be hard for the range to try and find i find they don't have much on their website craft stuff but if i can find everything i can find i will link down in the description box below um and then these tags again I think these ones that got like a little rope I think these were Wilco's um, a couple of years ago and then these were from the range um, and I left them quite plain I didn't put any backing papers on them I just thought if I'm going to use some just like red glittered um, wrapping paper and things or just I could even use craft paper kind of you know you can get that sort of brown wrapping paper 
Um, I think sometimes that's quite nice um, to wrap up gifts and you just have a tag and you can put some um, holly and berries and some nice ribbon around it. So, I, I, yeah, like I said, I've left these quite, quite plain. So the mittens are cut out in various different um, glittered cardstock. As you can see, this gold, the green, red. I think that's pretty much the colours for the mittens, yeah. Um, cut two out and I've just laid them kind of on top of each other. Put some um, double-sided um, sticky foam tape under this one just to pop it up a bit. Then for the sentiment warm hugs, the papers, like the backing piece of this, I use this bow bunny and this is a really old collection. I've had this for quite a while now. Um, but yeah, I just used some papers out of that um, to do the back in and then the glittered cardstock to do the words. Um, I quite like this one, the warm hugs, because it doesn't, some dies cut out each word individually, which is a pain to try and put together, but this cuts it out all in one piece, which is so much easier to um, glue and stick down. Um, and this one does really cut well. I, this one I got from Amazon. It does really cut, cut the um, glittered cardstock really easily. Um, and that's it, guys. That's all I have to share with you today. I hope you um, enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you haven't already done so, to hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye.